Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. So, recently, I'll be honest, I've been playing a little bit too much Animal Crossing, okay? I was just playing it before I was filming this video. I think I'm kind of addicted, but I decided to get a little bit productive and put some outfits together for you guys. Because, you know, we're quarantining now. We aren't really doing too much. And I'll be honest, I've been buying a lot of stuff online just to, uh you know, fill that void of not going out because I'm an extrovert. And I feel like this is something you guys can do as well, you know, try and have a little bit of fun during quarantine, putting some outfits together, trying out a new aesthetic or trying an old aesthetic you used to like, and maybe putting a current spin to it just to see if you like it again or not. And for this video, I have four outfits for you guys, four completely different styles, all ranging in temperature and hobbies and all that good stuff. So I feel like one of these can apply to you guys. And as the normal disclaimer I have in all my videos, I don't really know how to dress. I have clothes in my closet, I put it together, and I like it. You guys may not like it, I don't care. I like it. There's definitely a lot more people online that can outdress the hell out of me, okay? This is just what I like. I hope it helps you guys out. So help your boy out. Turn the like button blue for the YouTube algorithm gods to bless this channel with love. Come on, come on YouTube algorithm. Hey, they put their offering in. You know, help, help out the channel. Anyways, guys, this video is also sponsored by Black Taylor. But yeah, we're going to talk about them at the end of the video. Let's talk about these outfits. Okay, so we're going to hit it right out the gate with one of my favorite fits of all time as of right now. This techwear inspired outfit. Now, I say inspired because I'm still pretty new to this aesthetic. But nevertheless, let's break down the fit. Techwear is basically where function and aesthetics meet beautifully to create a separate aesthetic called techwear, obviously. Think of athleisure with more functionality and a little bit of Cyberpunk 2077 drizzled in. Well, it's funny because it's April as I'm recording this and yesterday it snowed like crazy in New Mexico, a desert. This is probably the second time in my lifetime that this has happened, so that determined my fit for the day. Like, you know when you ask the guys over at Nook's Cranny what's hot for the day and they tell you something like a birdhouse and that's really all that you focus on that day? Yeah, that's what this fit was. I know it's weird, it's April, it's normally warm, but I know some of you guys are still going through colder temperatures. So starting off with the boots, we got the Nike SFB Field 2 Gore-Tex boot. So if you guys saw my sneaker collection video, you guys know I've had these for a while, but never got to really styling it until warmer weather. Tisk tisk, Johnny, come on. Anyways, these have been a major game changer to my mindset. Before, whenever it came to boots, I was like, oh yeah, you know, they're cool, but I'd rather spend my money on a pair of J's or just another pair of sneakers in general. Well, I pulled the trigger on this one thanks to This Is Antoine, an awesome techwear channel, and this has really changed my perspective on boots. Now I want more boots. These are a boot with some sneaker elements to it, like its design and comfort. They're made of Gore-Tex, so it is waterproof and perfect for whenever it precipitates. Boots can be worn all year round, although I would only wear these in the summer if it rains. Pants do come from a brand called Randy Lucian. You can get it off Uniden as well. You guys know I've worked with them before. A great intro piece to tech wear if you guys don't want to shell out that acronym or even Gorilla Group price. It's weatherproof as well, so you stay dry. These normally come with straps, but I don't normally wear them too much. I have to be in the mood to throw them on my pants for some reason, but I like these because of the leg adjustment it has. I can adjust it so it's more tapered for slimmer sneakers or I can unzip it to make it more slim straight so they suit chunky sneakers like the Air Force One. And no, these are not like the zippers on zipper denim. Looking back, those looked weird. These have a purpose. The top is also from Randy Lusion slash Uniden. Perfect for times like these where you gotta protect your face. Although it definitely isn't N95 or even surgical mask worthy, but it does look kinda cool. By the way, I'll link as much as I can in the description below along with the sizes I wore. Anyways, nothing crazy, just a nice high neck long sleeve. The jacket is MKBHD merch. What I like about it is this dual tone color blocking. It stays in that grayscale spectrum, which is kind of a wave I've been on. And it's wind resistant, but not really water resistant. Hence why this fit is tech wear inspired and not really full tech wear. I have other jackets with DWR coatings to waterproof it, but I just like the aesthetics of this jacket with this particular fit. So my lower half of the body was waterproof, but not the top. Oh well. Then, because I always try to add some color with techwear fits, since most of the outfits out there are black dominant, I just added this sling bag from Riot Division, also waterproof, with some minor storage space, and then this olive beanie that I got from Amazon to add another piece of color to the fit. Overall, one of my favorite fits so far, functional for the most part, and very military slash dystopian inspired. Next up, we have this athleisure cozy chill fit going on. This is definitely an outfit I'd wear to the airport whenever that was a thing. This time, let's start with the top. So, I went to my girl's hometown of the Shy last September, probably my second favorite city I've been to. We went to all the good places, Giordano's, Millennium Park, and of course Navy Pier. And then this shirt caught my eye. You guys know I always try and encourage you guys to do this, but I'll just say it again. Pick up merch from places you visit. Gift shops at famous landmarks, museums, national parks, etc. Anyways, this shirt came from a Navy Pier gift shop. 
pretty sure it was like 15 to 20 dollars and i just like the colors going on kind of has that vintage gray color that i really dig then this purple green chicago graphic that i really like as well went with the more loose fit because i usually wear this shirt when i'm lounging at home raiding other animals islands or when i'm shredding the streets on my board either way a very versatile cheap and personal item i picked up that's what makes items like that so special it's because it describes you you visited that place and has more meaning than just picking something up at h&m or something for accessories we got this ring from amazon this gold bracelet from Vitaly. They were actually kind enough to send this piece over. And then some beaded bracelets from Rose Gold and Black and Aldo. And then the glasses are blue blockers from Jade Black, another company I work with. Sling bag is from Orbit Gear. You guys know I wear this thing a lot. It's a great starter piece to get into that technical aesthetic. Kind of like the Jordan ones whenever you're getting into streetwear. And of course, this sling bag is functional. Waterproof and a large amount of storage. I can even put my laptop in there. Then the pants come from Black Taylor, who is sponsoring this video. This is the N1 Cargo. What I like about this is the fit isn't too crazy tight, nor is it too baggy. Just the right fitment and dries really easily when it gets wet. I really like these not just because they're cargos. I like them because it's made of nylon. And I just like the adjustments you can make in the ankle area. You have these pull tabs that you can adjust to taper it and have it stay on one spot on your ankle. So I like to pull it up just a tad bit and wear these pants with runners. I haven't worn anything else with these pants because these just give off a very athletic athleisure look. Hence why I pretty much only wear these with my Pegasus 35 Turbos or the sneaker that I'm wearing, the New Balance 997S. So I picked these out because I have a ridiculous amount of Nike sneakers and a few Adidas and Vans. And that's really it. I've always liked New Balance. I just never pulled the trigger on it. So the 997S is the sportier version of the original 997. I do like these better just because it has just a slight bit more of that utilitarian look. Pretty comfortable, but nothing like Reactor Boost. Overall, a great switch up from the normal top competitors. And yeah, I like this fit because the whole thing follows, again, that grayscale spectrum. It's cozy, perfect for spring, or lounging around. Okay, so you guys may have noticed black pants, black shoes, grayscale color blocking, and someone's right about to type in the comments, Johnny, it's spring. You need some colors in your outfits. Yeah. You're lucky this is a voiceover, so you have to imagine me death staring at you. I know there still ain't crazy colors going on with this fit, but this has more of that typical masculine casual menswear look. So like in my why I stopped wearing skinny jeans and fitted clothes videos, there are seven days a week. Those videos are just stating I won't be wearing those items seven days a week. It's probably gonna be more like two or three times a week. Chill out. So I'm rocking a fitted light pastel green, almost olive t-shirt from Cuts Clothing. It does look great and I do really like Cuts Clothing and Essentials for the fitted shirts. Paired it with a gunmetal necklace from Rose Gold and Black. We got other accessories as well. I've got on this classic gold Casio watch that I got from Amazon, only 30 dollars link in description the silver bracelet and rings that i also got from amazon pants come from hyper denim it's a light wash stretch denim cuffed of course black bandana around the belt loop for a nice touch and paired with the vans old schools so you guys will see that this isn't your typical vans old schools but just real quick if you guys have the extra funds and want some vans opt for that comfy cush technology it really does make a difference and it's like ten dollars more or something like that this is a typical casual menswear fit and for good reason if you lift weights or you do calisthenics you know you build some muscle mass this will especially look good on you it may be plain and simple but sometimes it be like that it's like that island life sometimes you spend your time raiding islands and then sometimes you're fishing and re-landscaping your island so last but not least it's my typical outfit for whenever i skate and about those vans do not pick up the normal 50 dollar vans you should pick up the old school pro skate model because it's only 10 or 20 dollars more than the normal old schools trust me i did one heel flip in my lifestyle vans and they already ripped because when you get the pro skate model it has extra cushioning in the sole it's more durable and can withstand more flicks on your grip tape but if you don't skate you don't need to worry about these just stick to the comfy cush pair for more comfort but if you skate these are more comfortable than the lifestyle model and more durable as well let's mix it up and just move on to the top the top is from carhartt it's a bit thicker and heavier than a normal tee but whenever i'm skating i prefer that i'm a sweat anyways and when i land primo and fall on my ass i'd rather get less scrapes this is a maroon type color very simple i got it from dick sporting goods i'm wearing a few rings bracelets and all that but when i'm skating i take those off because falling on those will slice up your wrist and your fingers and you don't want that then the pants are from 511 tactical these are quite breathable stretchy and water resistant as well the standard pants for skating are dickies but these are also made to be durable and stretchy and i personally like the design better they're normally a straight cut which i prefer for these types of fits and if i want to wear it in more tech wear type outfits or i just want to taper it a little bit i will pin roll it for this fit i cuffed it normally to keep the straight cut look because everything always tapered and fitted can get boring really quick so this is a nice way to have fun with it Plus it helps with breathability and that's kind of where skater fashion is kind of going. You know, it used to be back in 2006 whenever I attempted my first Ollie, the wave was definitely skinny, 
tight jeans. And since then, it's moved on to more straight cut and breathable pants. I've gone on some white crew socks to contrast against the vans and the pants. If you want a more seamless look, you can opt for just regular black crew socks, white and black at the bottom, and they pop of color on top, which I really like. All right, y'all, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Leave a comment down below. What was your favorite outfit out of the four? As you guys can see, I like to have a more versatile wardrobe versus just going all in on one, I don't know. For me, it's really hard to stick to one thing, so I like to dabble in a lot of other stuff, which is probably a good and a bad thing. It's, it's like the same with my hobbies. I skate, I cook, I take pictures, I edit videos, I create content, It's my brain's a mess. Okay, so let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, Black Taylor. So if you guys don't already know, I've worked with Black Taylor quite a bit already. They are a cargo streetwear based company. They don't really focus on tech wear cargos, just to be transparent. They just focus on cargos for your normal streetwear outfits. So I'm gonna recommend their N1 nylon cargos that you guys saw in this video video or their N17 cargos, which is their other sleeker, more minimal cargo pants. I really like all the adjustments you can make to the pants so that it fits the type of sneaker you're wearing. And they also have some great colorways as well. I really do think their cargo pants are a great start if you're just trying to see if you like cargo pants in general. You guys know I love them. There's also a discount code in the description you guys can use to save some money. So go ahead and check them out. The link is in the description. Just to be transparent, I don't make any commissions off your guys' purchases. It just goes to helping out this channel long term. I know we're in quarantine and all that, so if you guys do have the money, you guys are looking at picking something up and you guys actually like their cargo pants then yeah i would definitely say you guys would really like it but don't buy from any of the sponsors just because i said so i want you guys to actually like the pieces before you guys actually make the purchase but yeah thank you guys in advance for supporting the channel if you guys found this video helpful hit the like button let the youtube algorithm gods know to show love to this channel and if you haven't already follow me on instagram at fly with johnny ty subscribe to the channel and until then stay fly stay animosity free i'm out peace